Hey guys, my name is Cam and welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you can see, today I'm going to be starting a new collective haul. I haven't really received too many things recently, but I thought I'd go ahead and open up these envelopes for y'all since it's trash day tomorrow and I'd like to get all of it out of my house. But yeah, I'll quit my rambling and let's get straight into the collective haul. So as you can see, I did order several sleeves from Amazon. They did come in a box, not exposed out in the open like this, but I basically needed more sleeves since I really underestimated how many sleeves I would need for my OT5 collection, so I got 100 of these Ultra Pro Platinum Series 9 pocket pages. I won't open them up for y'all, but you kind of get the gist of it just looking at the cover here, so I got 100 of those. And then I also got some one pocket pages. I actually barely had any left, like I only had 5 or 10 to start out with, so I decided to get a 100 pack of these as well. Like I said, they're just the one pocket pages from Ultra Pro, and they're the Platinum Series as well, so yeah. I really need to to sleeve some of my A4 posters and larger goods, so these will definitely be useful for that. And now onto the actual envelopes, and I'll be starting off with this one since, as you can see, I opened it earlier. But basically, my friend was having a Nyokyo package, so I decided to order some things through them on Mercari Japan. So, the first thing that I got are these Espa A4 photos for Black Mamba, so I'll really quickly go through these. For some reason, the Black Mamba goods are so hard to find, like the hologram sandies and like A4 photos and everything are so expensive and the market is absolutely insane right now. So I was really, really happy to find this set on Mercari Japan for a decent price. And yeah, you're gonna notice that Winter isn't in here since my friend actually claimed her. But yeah, so we have Giselle's photo and the backs are just plain white basically. Ning Ning, Karina or Karina. And then the two group ones, Oh my god, this one is so pretty. I love the green concept. And then this concept as well. But yeah, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with all of these, if I'm gonna sell them off or not. I am collecting winter, like, kind of leisurely, but kind of not leisurely, since I'm kind of going full send for her. But yeah, there were the Espa Black Mamba 4x6 photos. I'll put them off to the side. And this photo card that I got, I'm actually really excited for, and it's Silky's Tower Records pre-order benefit for the 2021 season's greetings. But I think my pop page or my pre-order page is already complete so i'm not really sure where i'm going to put this but yeah here's Sulgi's tower records pre-order benefit i'm pretty sure these were kind of hard to get since they were only given out one of five so like you just got a random member basically but yeah here's Sulgi's pre-order benefit so freaking stunning and now we'll get into the final envelope for this clip So this note says, Dear friend, thank you for buying. I'm really happy to add to your collection. Hope Sulga arrives soon from Jade Piplup0222 on Instagram. So as y'all can see, I finally got my hands on Sulgi's Sinar pre-order benefit for the 2018 season's greetings. So this is like the pre-order benefit Polaroid, but in reality, it's just like a mini postcard of Sulgi. And this is so freaking cute. Like I kind of miss when the stores used to do these types of pre-order benefits just because it kind of mixed it up from like just having photo cards, you know? But yeah, here's her Sinar pre-order benefit Polaroid. I have been searching for this for a while, so I was really, really happy when I found it for a decent price on Instagram. But yeah, that's it for this first clip. So yeah, here's everything that I got in this first clip of my collective haul, and let's get right into the next one. Hey guys, so this is gonna be the next clip of this collective haul. It's actually only been one or two days since the last clip y'all saw, so I've received quite a few things. But yeah, let's get right into it. I'll start off with these first two envelopes since they're already open. So this note says, hello Cameron, thank you for your purchase. I hope Wendy arrives quickly and safely. Please reuse this card for future trades and sales to save waste. Thank you. And I ordered this from a seller off of eBay, I'm pretty sure. So as y'all can see, the photo card that I got was Wendy's Sappy photo card. Oh, and I forgot to show the extra, but it's just this really, really cute sticker of Wendy. It's like a little collage. She's so freaking cute. And I'm so excited for her solo that's coming out next month. But anyways, this is the photo card that I purchased from the seller on eBay. And it's Wendy's Sappy card, like I said before and they were selling it for a super duper good price, so I decided to jump on it, and yeah, this will help me out with my OT5 collection, of course. Next up will be this envelope that I also opened. 
So this note says, Hi, thanks for buying again. Please let me know when Yeti arrives and stay safe from Faith at Eve Suas on Instagram. And as the note said, I did order from this seller before, but yeah, I basically just got another Yeti Perfect Velvet card. She's so freaking cute in this one. And since this is a duplicate, I will be trading it to any Joy or Wendy that I need. And next we'll be going through this international envelope from an international seller. And I'll kind of talk about it as I'm opening this. But basically this seller reached out to me on Instagram a couple of weeks ago with a bunch of their red velvet cards since they were quitting their collection. And yeah, they offered me a bunch of these photo cards. Let me see if there's a note. So there actually is a note and it says, hey, I hope your purchase came well. Take care of them, please. It breaks my heart to sell them, but I know that you will take good care of them. Sand red velvet. Also, I really like your YouTube channel. Thank you so much. And I'll put their ad down here somewhere, but I don't think that they have a normal like trades and sales account. They were just selling their personal collection, but I'll go ahead and take all of these out and go through them one by one. So I think I bought in total 14 cards from them, so I'll go through them now. But we got Wendy's Rookie card, Wendy's RBB card, Wendy's Day 2 card from the Day 2 version, I believe. Another one of Wendy's Day 2 cards, and this one is from the guidebook version. Oh, there's actually two cards in here, my bad. But yes, here's the Day 2 card, as well as Wendy's Summer Magic Limited card, Wendy's Dum Dum photo card, Yeti's Rookie photo card, and this one is so freaking cute. This has to be another one of my favorite Yeti cards. Honestly, Yeti has really good cards in general, though. One of Wendy's Day 1 cards, and this one is from the guidebook version. Wendy's Ice Cream Cake card. Wendy's The Velvet card, which is probably one of my favorite Wendy cards, to be honest. One of Yeti's Peekaboo cards, or Perfect Red Velvet cards. I really, really like this one. I really like Irene's card from Day 2 that's like this as well. Wendy's Red Summer card. She's so freaking cute in this. Yeti's Dum Dum card, or the red card. And then finally, one of Wendy's Bad Boy cards. She looks absolutely stunning with the purple hair and green contacts. But yeah, there were all the photo cards cards. I'll really quickly organize this before we get into the last package. Okay, so I've kind of organized the cards as best as I could for now, but now I'll get into the final package for this clip, and this is a trade. But first, the note says, Hello, thank you so much for trading. Hope Irene arrives safe and sound. Let me know when she arrives from Choose Bread on Instagram. And as for the freebies, they included this little stamp of Irene from Time to Love, I'm pretty sure. This freebie of Baekhyun. Oh my god, I love this photo. Joy from Day 2. Oh, sorry, I'm trying to like make the camera not focus on Wendy in the corner. This freebie of Irene from RBB. And finally, this other freebie of Irene. So stinking pretty. But yeah, there are the freebies. And now I'll get into the album that we traded. Okay, so I'm not sure how much of that unboxing I'm going to leave in, just because they wrapped it super duper well, like in two or three layers of bubble wrap, and it was kind of a struggle for me to get out. But as you can see, I did trade for Irene's Summer Magic Limited album. I can't believe I finally have this album in my hands, but I did end up trading the Joy cover that I had for Irene's, just because Irene is my second bias, and I thought that it was a really good trade. So yeah, I can't believe I finally have Irene's cover. Cover, so that means I have Irene and Solgis now. I'm still looking to go back and collect Joys, obviously, as well as find Yeti and Wendy's. Let me stop my rambling though and quickly go through the inclusions in here. So it opens like so, and then the puzzle pieces are in here. So the two unit standees in this set are Yermsul as well as Wenjoy, two of my favorite friendships. So there are these standees. I don't think it comes with the random member, but that's completely fine because I don't think we were supposed to be trading those. It was kind of a struggle to to get all those puzzle pieces back in that box. But yeah, here's the photo book. I'll just do a quick flip through of it. Here's like the ingredient slash lyric book, so nostalgic. Here's the little SM ad, and it is personalized, which I think is really nice. But here's everything that I got in this clip of my collective haul. I am expecting quite a few trades for my OT5 collection to come in, so let's get right into the next clip. Hey guys, so this is going to be the next clip of this collective haul. I'm super excited for this package here since I've been waiting for it for a little. So yeah, I think I'll just get right into it since I don't have anything else to say. But as usual, I'll be starting off with the smallest envelope, which is this one. So 
So we'll go ahead and read this note first. So it says, Cam, thank you so much for adopting Joy. I hope she arrives to you quickly and safely. This is actually my first ever gift to anyone, so I'm happy it could go to someone like you. I love and appreciate the content you make, but I especially love just sitting back to eat and hang out with you through your YouTube videos. Anyways, sorry for the dirty top loader. I got it from a Wendy photo card purchase and wiped it down as best as I could. Lastly, we use the same Dragon Shield penny sleeves, so if you ever need an extra, Joy's in one. Thank you so much. The Dragon Shield sleeves are so nice. Thanks again for accepting. P.S. Reusable card from Alex. And then here are their Instagram accounts. So the boy with loves trades and then the boy with love. Definitely go follow and check out their accounts. Thank you so much, Alex. This will really, really help me out with my collection. And honestly, it just makes me so happy that you enjoy my content. And thanks for always talking with me on Instagram. But yeah, let's get right into the card. Also, before I get into it, this hollow washi tape is so pretty, like it's kind of reflective and has like a purple to blue shift. It's so freaking pretty in real life. But yeah, here's Joy. It is her day one card from the day one version, I'm pretty sure. I'm super duper happy to have it. And thank you so much, Alex, for gifting it to me. I really appreciate it. And like I said before, this will really, really help me out with my collection. Next up will be this letter. So this note says, thank you so much for giving Wendy a new home. Good luck with your red velvet collection. I hope she arrives safely and quickly. Let me know and send a video or picture when she does. And then here's their ad at the bottom, but I think they have some freebies or posters over here. So let's go through these. So yeah, it's just a picture of Luncheon. Oh my God, he's so pretty here with the pink hair. And yeah, thank you so much for that photo freebie. But I did pick up this Wendy photo card from that seller. And this is another card from the day one version for Zimzilla Bim, but yeah. Yeah, she's so freaking cute. This is the up close one. And yeah, this one is so freaking cute. Like I said, for the 10 millionth time. But before we get into the last package, we have this envelope as well. So this note says, hello, thank you so much for trading with me. I hope Joy arrives safely. Please let me know when you get her. Stay safe. Lots of love. Mushi trades on Instagram. I ran out of freebies, sorry. It's totally fine. Like most of the time I don't even put freebies in because I don't have that many either. But as y'all can see, I did trade for this Joy bad boy card or the perfect red velvet card. She looking a little damaged, not gonna lie. But honestly, damn, yeah, she's a little damaged. I did not see this at all in the video that they sent, which is really unfortunate, but but yep, I did trade for this Joy Bad Boy card. It won't really make a difference since she'll be in my binder, I guess. But it is what it is, I guess. I can't do anything about it. So yeah, here's this Joy Bad Boy card. Thank you so much for trading with me. The final thing for this clip is this bubble mailer. And like I said before, I'm super duper excited for it since this is something that I've been trying to get for honestly like a couple of weeks, but it felt like a long time searching for it. So I'm super duper happy to finally have it. But yeah, I'll quit my rambling and get on into it. So the note says, hi, thank you so much for joining my group order. Let me know when everything arrives from Lippy Catcher on Instagram. So I'm pretty sure I said this in a previous clip of this haul, but I did decide to collect Espa. And honestly, it's just been so difficult to track down their goods. Like they're already so freaking expensive and they just debuted, which is so sad. Collecting Winter from Espa. I'm not sure if I said this in a previous clip. I might've said it in that first clip with the other four by six photos, but I'm honestly super duper excited for this collection, but yeah, we got this winter 4x6 photo for Black Mamba, of course. And then her holo standee. Oh my God, these retail for like $10, but resellers do be selling them for like $50, so. Anyways, I will be taking it out of the packaging, I guess, for y'all. So we have her standee. Oh my gosh, she's so pretty. Just says Espa on the back. And then as for the main attraction, the photo cards, of course, we have this hologram card. Honestly, when Espa first debuted and these holo sets came out, I honestly clown them so hard because the member isn't even on the holo card. It's like the avatar member, which I think is so stupid because we're not collecting AE Winter, we're collecting Winter, so. Anyways, this is the AE Winter holo card. Here's the back, but yeah, there's the 
holo card and then for the lenticular here she is and then here's the avatar member of course so here's everything i received in this clip of my collective haul and let's get right into the next clip hey guys so i think this is going to be the final clip of this collective haul i was looking back at my footage and i already have like 15 minutes worth of it so i think i'm gonna cut it off here but yeah today i just have a couple envelopes and then these two packages so yeah let's get right into it i'm super duper excited to get into these two packages since i think they have some pretty exciting things but yeah let's get started with the envelopes first so as usual we'll start with the smallest envelope first which is this one So this note says, hello, thank you so much for trading with me. I hope Joy arrives soon. Please let me know when she does from Joy's Trade on Instagram. So I believe that I traded a Wendy photo card. I'm pretty sure it was one of her Summer Magic clear cards, I think. But I did trade for this Joy Day One card. She's so pretty. Like the elevator outfit is so freaking cute and gorgeous on her. But yeah, here's this card. Joy's so pretty in it. Next up will be this envelope. Oh my god, this decorated top loader is so freaking cute. But the note says, hello, thank you for trading. Let me know when she arrives. Stay safe from NCT Stan on Instagram. And like I said, this decorated top loader is so pretty. I'll definitely be keeping it. But as you all can see, I did trade for Joy's Dum Dum or the red card. Oh my god. So I am making some progress on my OT5 collection, thankfully. So yeah, thank you so much for trading with me again, NCT Stan. And I completely forgot to show the extras, but we just have this freebie of Mina. I'm pretty sure. Some really cute, pretty stickers. And then this freebie of Dahyun. I think these are from Likey Era, but correct me if I'm wrong. And next up is this envelope, which is a purchase from one of my friends. So this note says, Cam, hi legend. I hope you got these Sulky and Joy PCs safely. Let us know when you get this. Also, congrats on 5k. OMG, extremely well deserved. Love you from CW and T. But yeah, like I said, these are two of my really, really good friends. You should definitely go subscribe to their channels and follow them on Instagram. One of them is July and the other one is Peachy Bread. So I'll definitely remember to card their channels up here somewhere or link them down below. But yeah, thank you so much y'all for helping me get these cards. And there's also these two freebies in here of of tail and a strawberry hat so cute as well as jaehyun doing what jaehyun does yep there were the freebies and now on to the cards so as y'all saw the first card that i got was silky's collect book card from red room i secured this through thai twitter with them for a really really good price so thank you so much to for helping me get this card from thailand she's so freaking pretty and here's the back oh my god the back is absolutely like gorgeous so yeah i think there is some damage unfortunately but honestly is not that big of a deal considering the price that I spent on it. So there was that card. I'm so happy to have that card. I've been looking for it for the past like two years. And the other card that I secured was through Peachy Bread. So I got Joy's Sappy card. So now the only one that I'm missing is Yeti's. I'm pretty sure by the time that this video goes up, I've probably been able to secure her, hopefully. Yeah, here's this Joy card. She's absolutely stunning. And the back of the Sappy and Hashtag Cookie Jar cards are so cute. So yeah, thank you so much y'all for helping me get these cards and helping me out with my collection. I really, really appreciate it. But now that all of the envelopes are out of the way, I'll go ahead and put these off to the side over here and get into the packages. So I think I'll go ahead with the flatter one first. I did have to cover this area because my address is right there. So let's get right into it. So this note says, hi, thank you so much for buying for me. I hope winter arrives safely. Let me know when you get her from Sophie at Mevely Trading on Instagram, I'm pretty sure. And they also sent this super duper cute freebie of winter. I'm pretty sure this picture is from one of their YouTube videos where winter basically played with this dog, but she's so freaking pretty and cute in this. And the dog is cute as well, of course. But let's get right into the goods. Okay, I'm not sure how much of that unboxing I'm gonna leave in since it was low-key a struggle to get out, but it was packed super duper securely. 
early but i did get winter's black mamba a4 photo as well as her film strip let me take them out for y'all to see so here's the film strip it is holographic and so freaking pretty oh my god the light isn't really picking it up too well but super duper pretty i'm so sorry about the glare i don't think i'm gonna take it out because i don't want to get my fingerprints on it but yeah there was that as well as her a4 photo which is absolutely gorgeous as well so excited to be collecting winter honestly like it's so fun to start a new collection yeah here's her black mamba a4 i think it's so funny that i have this black mamba a4 before i have any of Solgi's a4s but when i saw this up for sale i just decided to grab it because like i said in one of the previous clips the black mamba merch is really really hard to find so but the final package of this entire collective haul will be this one and i'm super duper excited to get into it Oh my god, these stickers are so freaking cute! But the note says, thank you so much for buying for me. This is my first album sale, so this means a lot. Let me know when you receive from A-O-L-A-R-I-S on Instagram, I'm pretty sure. I don't want to butcher your name, so that's why I didn't try to pronounce it. But these stickers are so cute. And I'm super duper excited to use them. And as y'all can see, I did get a Summer Magic Limited album. Do y'all know whose cover it is? Let's see. Obviously, it's not Irene or Solgi's. One, two two, three, it's Wendy. Oh my God. I feel like it's such a coincidence that I got Wendy's cover since she just debuted as a solo artist a few days ago, I think. So super duper excited. Oh my God. So yeah, this is Wendy's Summer Magic Limited cover album. It is a little bit damaged, but for the price that I got it, I honestly can't complain. And of course I know about the damage when I bought it. So yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and show y'all the inclusions. I don't believe it comes with photo cards, but here is the puzzle box. So freaking cute and it doesn't come with any of the special standees like the random one but it does have the wendy big one sulky and joy as well as that's a tree oh i guess it does come with wendy's standee i thought it wasn't gonna come with the random standee but this is wendy's random picket so here are all of the member standees that are in here wendy's random one as well as sulky and joy like i said before and yeti and irene oh my god i'm so happy that it included the random standee but i'm pretty sure y'all already know the inclusions in here this is just the recipe booklet i'm pretty sure which is like the lyrics book as well as the super duper pretty photo book but yeah i am still in search of joy and yetis so hopefully i can get them soon i think it's funny how i have irene sulgi and wendy now which is like the three oldest members so hopefully i can find joy next that would be kind of cool honestly but yeah here's everything that i received in this final clip of my collective haul and let's get right into the outro Hey guys, so this is everything that I received in all of the clips of this collective haul. Honestly, it's super duper exciting to be making progress on my OT5 collection. Just seeing all of these cards here is super duper encouraging. So I'm really, really happy how that collection is coming along. And I'm super duper excited to also be making progress on my OT5 Summer Magic set and my Espa collection. But yeah, I don't want to make this outro too long, so I'll wrap it up. So as usual, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay loud, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.